Oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh my gosh. What? What? Oh my gosh. Look at him. Holy ah. cow. Holy ah. shit. Wow. All right, out on the road, I've got a seat and a tailgate for Super Duty that I'm gonna go pick up out in Canyonville. And then also there's several uh, crew cabs, like 1970s dent sides and bump sides that I've got word about that we're gonna go see if we can go find. Would be pretty cool. Anyways, let's get on the road and get the miles in. So just picked up the seats and the tailgate for the truck. They look pretty good. I'm pretty excited about that. And now we're going to head on back down the road and head over to a, I can't tell you where it's at. It's a secret location, but you're going to be stoked when we get there. There's a whole bunch of crew cab dent sides and Broncos, and we're going to go see if we can do some wheeling and dealing. Okay. This is going to be badass. Here we got a XLT Bronco. Man, this is, did this used to be a camper? Camper special, what? No way, oh my gosh, guys. Okay, let me lift this around real quick, okay? Holy, I wanna know where the camper went on it. Jeez, man, looks really clean. Original wheels, uh, XLT, it's got the three window top. Top looks to be decent shape. Man, open it up. The front window's busted out. He should throw a tarp over it. It's got the split bench. This was an AC truck as well. Man, man, what year is it? Okay, this is a 79, manufactured 04 79. So, yeah, this is badass. Holy cow, dude. So, it's got the rack on the back. I didn't look to see, does it have the factory roll bar? No, nope, no factory roll bar. So, but, camper special. There's a, there's another crew cab. It's got so many crew cabs. Oh, you guys, jeez. Look at this freaking 78 or 79, four wheel drive, step side, short bed. Oh, jeez. This is badass. Wow, what year is this? Oh, oh she locked up. All right. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. Oh, it's heavenly. So, bunch of old dent sides there. Man. Can't tell you. So, look at this freaking old Chevy freaking. He's got a couple of these, a freaking 
COEs? Oh my gosh, I want a CO. Oh, let me flip you around. Here we go. I want a COE so bad. These are just so awesome. I mean, I'd like to have a 56 Ford COE, but wow. I mean, those things are getting rare. We got the crew cab nomad. That's pretty cool. Holy cow, dude. This guy's got it all. Man, what we got over here? So we got this Bronco. This Bronco's an XLT as well. What the heck? Uh, you can see pucks there. It's got a little bit of a body left on it. But not bad. Holy cow. All right, yeah. This thing's freaking pretty sick. She looks pretty, pretty decent. The floorboards aren't trashed, you know. This was an AC truck as well. Holy cow, man. Okay, it is an automatic. Oh, wow. No factory rear bar. It doesn't have the rear seat in it anymore. What year is it? It's a 06 to 78. All right, so that might actually be a 79 then. I can't remember when the cutoff is, but man, that's badass. Got an extended cab back there. Holy jeez, man. What we got up here? Another extended cab. Got this old Ford. That's like a 50, well, late 40s, I think, maybe. Not sure. Gee, my knee. So many F-150. I mean, here's a 350 old flatbed. This really stuck out to me. The short bed, two-wheel drive, F-100. Oh my gosh, dude, this is a, it's a manual. Oh my gosh, okay, she's locked up. It's a custom, oh. Would be nice if it had the XLT package. This is a trim that I don't see very often, this right here. Um, this is a smaller trim than your traditional trim side. That's, that's interesting. All right, so this is a 78 or 79. Um, I'm curious what motor. Pretty freaking slick. Holy cow. All right. 250 Ranger. 150 Custom. Here's that crew cab. He said that's crew cab's dented in real bad in the back. Said he got into a bad accident. Oh, wow. Yeah. I mean, I guess it'd be good parts. The doors look to be okay. Yeah, wow, look how bad that's bent in the back. He said you can't even open up the rear doors right now. Need to get a tarp on this so these can open up. Man. Oh, they're freaking caved in. They're not that okay. Huh. Let's walk down the line here. And ouch, ouch, ow. See what we got down here. <laughs> Jeez. Manish, I'm starting to lose light and I got to get back home. But I'm just, I'm too excited. I'm kind of geeking out over here big time. So F-250, long bed. F-150, custom long bed. That's, that's pretty nice. Whew, just a short bed, she's pretty rusted. That's a 78 or 79 F-150 Ranger XLT short bed. I dig the freaking roll bar. Crew cap, wow, I'm freaking, sorry, did I miss all that? So that's pretty badass. Um, F-250 Ranger, she's pretty rusty. The doors are freaking pretty shot on it, but it is a crew cab, pretty badass. Man, <laughs> you just keep on going on and on. This is a long bed, that's gonna be a half ton. Here's another F-100 short bed. <laughs> Sheesh, man, this guy's got them all. I mean, just look at this. It's a 78 or 79. Oh. Is that a, you can't even see inside of it. It's got it locked. Oh my gosh, dude. So here's a, another Bronco right here. Look at this pig. Holy cow. Um, it looks like XLT trim. I don't know if it is, but. It 
It's got aftermarket or seats out of something, a different center console. It's got a tack up on it. It's a custom. All right. The interior doesn't look too bad. I can't really see in there. All right. Here's an F-150 custom. Jeez. And then this crew cab. She's pretty beat up too, but she doesn't look too bad. She's halfway decent. Oh my gosh, man. Yeah. Yeah, guys. Ah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. She's a short bed too. Wow. Wow. Wow, that's really awesome. Man. These are, I, I, I don't know what it is, just like even this has got that rust spot there on the hood. I dig the look of that. Oh yeah, you can tell, so it's a custom because it's got the round headlights. This must be a 78 as well. It's got the round headlights, that's a custom. So we look here, a little bit of rust in the bottom corner of that door there. Um, but not too bad. Yeah, like I said, bed's beat up a little bit, but man, they are just looking so good. So, and Ernie seemed like such a cool guy. Wow. So, anyways, guys, I'm uh, I gotta get heading on the road. I gotta get back. It's Seth's birthday today, so but. I'm just, I'm blown away by this. I'm going to end up, I got his phone number. I'm going to call him a little bit more. Maybe we can work out a deal, get some of these trucks, maybe potentially. We'll see. I'm not sure. Uh, I told you earlier that uh, I couldn't tell you where this was because of the, uh, I didn't know if the old man wanted to be bothered or not, okay? I mean, some of these people don't like everyone coming around their place, especially you put it out on the internet, so, right? So, but he didn't seem to mind it too much. Um, it does sound like his price points are pretty much on par with everything else you've been seeing. And he's more of a collector than a seller. He says he has sold some pieces, but not a ton of them. Anyways, it's in Myrtle Point. I'll uh, put the address down on the, uh, or Myrtle, yeah, Myrtle Point. I'll put the address down in the, uh, whatever, the comments down below. Not the comments. The freaking, you know what I'm talking about. Right below the video. Right below the video is where it's going to be at. Anyways, I got to get going. Appreciate you guys. Get out there working your projects. I'm losing my mind here. Oh, oh, I didn't tell you. I just bought a crew cab. <laughs> I bought a 76 crew cab, okay? I'll throw up some pictures. What a day it is. This is unreal. Holy cow. We'll talk to you later. Have a good one.